Hi, it's James Mitchell. Here's another video on workshop software. I really hope you get some great value from it and you enjoy it. All the best. Welcome to this video in the workshop software quick start training series. In this video, we're going to see how simple it is to manage your suppliers from doing orders to invoices and also payments. So let's go create a stock order. If I click on the plus and go down to supplier stock orders, and I'm going to search for a supplier that we've got in the system. So in this case, it's ABC Parts Store. If I click on them, I can now t do the details of what I want to do in the stock order. So for example, I can go and put on and order say five filters. We're gonna order some Z9 oil, oil filters as well, four of those. Uh, let's do some spark plugs. We're gonna get 18 of those and let's say some leads and we want four of those. So you can go and add in as many products and any products that you want in the system. It's all That part of it is really quite straightforward. Now all we need to do is we need to go process, process the order and it's done. We can then also go and click on email stock order and go off and email that off to our supplier so that they've got it in that email format. That's really all there is to creating a stock order. It's really quite that simple. Um, it's really straightforward and is a simple process for you to do. So now that the order's done, let's go see what we've got to do to turn this into an invoice. So there's a couple of ways that we can jump into the invoice. We could go back to the way we were before and jump in and go supplier invoice. That's one way. I'm going to show you a different way, which is via the supplier. So I can access the supplier because I've got it open on the screen by clicking on this button here, which will open up the supplier details. If I scroll down, you'll notice that there's some supplier stock orders here, supplier invoices and supplier payments. You'll also notice that each of these have got the plus symbol against them. That means that I can create, for example, a new stock order, a new invoice and a new payment. In this instance, we're gonna go off and do a supplier invoice. So if we click on that button, it'll open up the supplier invoice program. So the first thing that we need to do is put in the reference number. In fact, you don't have to do that as the first thing. Uh, choose the post date, let's just pretend that it's today or you can change it, it might be a different date. And also what type it is, which of course defaults to invoice, but you might be doing a credit and returning something and uh, getting a credit off uh, your account. In this instance, what we want to do is we want to click this star here, which drop down the actions, and we're going to add items from an order. You can optionally not do this if you don't want to, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So in this instance, it drops down all of the purchase orders that are outstanding for ABC Parts Store. In this case, there's only one. And if we go on Select, it'll drop in all of those products that we put onto that order earlier on. Assuming that the prices and the quantities are correct and the balance equals to the invoice that the supplier has supplied us, all we now need to do is click on process. So once we click on process, click on yes, that's it, it's done. So that order is now no longer outstanding, it's been finalized, and now we've got an, an invoice for that particular supplier and we owe the supplier that particular amount of money. So let's just jump back into the supplier details by clicking here, or I'm gonna show you a different way of finding the supplier. Of course, we could use the search bar up here, so we could type in ABC Parts Store if we wanted to, and we can go and open them there. The other option is, is you can go into suppliers here, and in the filter box up the top, if you type in ABC, um, that will find you all the things with ABC. So if we just double click on ABC Parts Store, it opens up their details. So you'll notice now that the stock order that we've done has been received. So this is the order that we've done and that's been received. And you'll also know now to notice now that there's all these invoices here. And if we wanted to go uh, to this invoice, which is this one that we've done here, that's the invoice that we've done. So what we can do now is we're going to go through and do a supplier payment. And just before we do that, you might notice that the account balance is now $2,200 when in fact before it was a lot less than that. So if we want to go off and pay that invoice, what we can do is click on the plus on supplier payments and it opens up the supplier payments program. To select invoices, we click on the little magnifying glass here and we're going to choose the invoice that we've done just earlier on, which is this one here. Go select and we're going to pay that off. Of course, we could select other invoices as well. And in fact, if you want to select multiples, you can select multiple invoices as well. So, um, and go select. I'm going to just pay off this one invoice, go process, that's now processed.
So if we go back into ABC Part Store as their supplier, you'll notice now that it's $1,400 is the account that's balance that's outstanding. And you'll notice too that the supplier invoice that we've done earlier on has now been processed. So this one here, you'll see that that's been processed. And you'll also see that there's an additional payment down here. So you can see the whole workflow of what's happened with your supplier invoices. The last thing we're going to take a quick look at is just doing a, an invoice without an order. So if we click on the plus sign and go into supplier invoice, let's say we'll use ABC Parts Store again. So we'll choose them. I can just come down here, put in a reference number, type in, let's say we just wanted to order, you know, two air filters. And of course, you can go and add on a whole heap of other products. We just click on process, process this invoice and that invoice is done. So if that was all that was on the invoice, you just got a couple of filters from a supplier, you didn't order them through the system, maybe you just rung them up, or maybe the rep was it, came around and, and delivered them, or something along those sorts of lines. You don't have to create a, a stock order first, you can just simply go off and do a supplier invoice. And it literally is that simple. So it's really, really quite straightforward to do.